Hello again, uh, YouTubers. Welcome back to Toxic Zombie VD Games. Um, now, on my other videos, I usually did like unboxings and stuff like that, but today I'm gonna do something. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys storage ideas for your cards and products I think you guys should use. As you can see, this is my new studio. I have all my World's Greatest Card Chase boxes. I have four here. Um, and then I have a, a 2012 blaster box, so like whenever I open a blaster, I'll set up all around so it'll be my new studio. So, um, first thing I, I want to tell you guys, if you ever send cards in the PSA, what you're going to need are these card savers. They're, let me back up a little bit, right there. They're card savers, and they're flimsy and stuff, but you don't want to send them in with top loaders because they won't accept them. You need to put them in here, um, and then that's how you send them in. They also have larger size ones that you can order right off of PSA.com. They have larger size ones. Well, um, speaking of top loaders, they 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 are great if you have valuable cards that you don't want to send in a PSA. You can just use top loaders, which are really hard. And this is my Crawley Strumski Auto. Um, from 78, my dad, my dad got it signed, and top loaders are great for valuable cards and whatnot. Here's my Pete Rose auto, and my dad got signed. I have a couple other signed cards here, right here, but I don't have top loaders because I ran out, so I need to get more. But before you put your cards in top loaders, you want to put them in card sleeves. If you guys don't know what card sleeves are. They're these. Um, this is my Tony Perez auto. Card sleeves are like, hold on, I think I have an empty one. And I do not. Alright. I'm out of card sleeves too. They're soft sleeves that you put your cards in. And it helps protect them a little bit. And then you put those, the card sleeves, inside of the top loaders. Um, Ultra Pro is probably the best one that I've used. Uh, there are different brands out there, but it's probably the best one. Um, acrylic holders like these, they, it's like two pieces and you can open up and you can fit a lot of cards in there. But that's probably a good idea too, if you have, if you're trying to put sets together or you have your favorite team, you can put those in here, here's one that's not so full, you know, just, you just open it up like that. Um, find those card supply stores and stuff. Next, um, if you don't want to buy stuff like that, like, right here, I turned my blaster box into a um, set thing. This is my 2012 set i trying to put together. I just cut the top off and all the cards in the set that I have so far, I put in here. Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple. It's easy. I just did that. Um, you can use shoe boxes. Just fill them up. Um, another thing that I, that I found at Target and Walmart are these big storage boxes um, that has um, a bunch of rows, one, two, three, four, five rows in them and you can fill those up with cards and there's also these these smaller acrylic holders that hold um, uh, not so many cards but still hold cards I have a bunch of those team bags and stuff in there let's hold like 1100 cards I think um, speaking of team bags, where'd they go? Great, okay, right here. Team bags. These are great. I use these for everything. I put my packs in them. I put cards in them. I use them for a lot of stuff, and they're like four bucks on Amazon. So they're great, and they're ultra pro, because they're better. Now, if you have a complete set that you put in a binder, you can, oh, oops, sorry. This, you can, ooh, this damaged the wall here. You can always use empty box as card holders, um, binders of course, um, there's just so many different ways you can hold your cards. You can make it yourself, as you can see, I made this, hold on let me pick it up for a second you guys, I made this, it is a shipping box that I cut the top off, and you can see all my packs are in here, and I labeled each, each thing, and then on the front I put baseball card packs. 1980 to 1990. Let's put you back. So yeah, 
You guys can do that. You can also put cards in them. You don't have to just put packs. Do whatever you want. Um, there's just so many stuff you can do. And what I would recommend... Now I'm just going to do um, recommendations um, for if you guys are going to buy cards and if you're just starting into the hobby. If you if you want to collect sealed stuff and you want to collect vintage stuff, I would go ahead and buy a uh, World's Greatest Car Chase box. Oh crap. But why? They give you 16 packs and it's only like 20 bucks. And, um, what else is there to say? You get a lot of cool packs. My friend who does not have a YouTube account, um, He's a collector of vintage packs, 70s and 80s. He pulled a 78 Top Swax pack out of one of these boxes. Um, which is pretty cool. You can pull a lot of vintage cards and stuff out of these. You, I haven't really found one in a while, except for these. I just found it Toys R Us. Those are the last ones I've seen in about a year or two. But, um, yeah, if you don't want to get into collecting sealed stuff like that, Buy a blaster box at your local Target, Walmart, Toys R Us. Just buy one of these and um, there's usually about 10 packs and an exclusive thing inside. Like an extra pack or a patch card or something like that. And um, these just get you started. Um, just a small little item like this can get you started. Um, a recommendation for you guys, um, which I did and which my grandfather did, because he was a big collector. Next time I go to his house, I'll show you his whole collection. He collects packs, on open pack like seventies. He has a couple from the sixties. He has a whole bunch of unopened boxes. Um, what he did when he started was, or not what he did. What he taught me to start is start small. If you're gonna buy boxes, they're usually very expensive, especially from the eighties. They're like fifty dollars or sixty dollars or seventy or eighty or whatever, whatever brand, whatever year you buy. The box is gonna be expensive, and so start from the nineties. All right, nineties, anything from the nineties basically is pretty cheap, especially nineteen ninety. That's why I have nineteen ninety Cello Fleer, nineteen ninety Wax Fleer, nineteen ninety Donruss Wax. Those are pretty cheap. They're like ten dollars a box, and you get thirty six and twenty four packs in a box. And that's just a great way to start. It's not very expensive, and you know it's pretty cheap. And just you can find them most places, like flea markets and yard sales and stuff. One thing though, um, with packs and boxes, you want to buy from um, um, a trusted sales place or like a um, a professional sales place. Because if you buy from eBay or something, you can always get cheap. Or not cheap, or ripped off. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Ripped off. My friend, he bought um, what's it called? A, I think it was like a, I don't know. I think it was the world's greatest car chase, and he got it, and it was open like one of these, and it had nothing in it. He paid twenty five bucks bucks for an empty box. So that's why I would not order off of eBay. The top three, my top three favorite places to order are BBC Exchange, Cards One, and DA Card World. But why? Why? I'm just putting these up just so you can see or look at them or whatever. Um, you know, it's... I like ordering from them because they have good prices and they're not a rip-off, really. Um, they're trusted. I trust them. I've contacted them. I've talked to them. I've emailed them. They're trusting and I like using them and you guys should too. Um, I know I'm just starting the hobby, and my videos aren't very, um, very exciting, but I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribed, and commented nicely, and liked my videos, because then I can make more videos, and I'll make better videos for you guys, more unboxings, more collection videos, more idea videos, and stuff like that. Alright, well, I'll see you guys next video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, see y'all later.